Hi guys, it's Shada. This is actually my 60th video. That means we've done 59 other projects and I hope you guys have as much art, hand lettering and illustration as I do to show for it. The best thing about art is sharing it. And right now we have a great way to do that and it's called the internet. So we can share on social media, but there's just this one tiny niggling detail and that's that you have to be able to take photos of your artwork. A beautiful piece won't always translate if you don't have a beautiful photo of it. So in today's video tutorial, I'm gonna be sharing my styling tips with you. So let's get started. So I always begin with a little table that I push up right near a window. I have professional lights now, but before I did, I shot everything right by the window. And here I'm going to grab a whole bunch of my old artwork pieces that I've done on camera. I'm just going to go through them and pick a few favorites. And that's what we'll use to do our styling shots today. So here I've got my alphabet. If you didn't see this video, I'll link it in the description and you can always go back and watch it. The first thing I'll do now that I'm trying to style this artwork shot is pick a backdrop. So I might choose some colored paper, I might go with classic white, or I might grab a piece of fabric. Now to begin, I'm also going to round up a whole bunch of props. I love using the things that are naturally available to me, like my art uh, supplies. So here I've got some old school rulers, natural wood pencils, ink, some cool scissors, my obliques um, and pens and nibs. I'll use the Sharpies or artist markers that I actually completed the art project with. I've got some really simple natural wood paint brushes. Those are a favorite for me when I'm styling. These um, Muji pencil crayons I re just received, they're beautiful. I use this sketchbook a lot. It's just a dollar store sketchbook that I covered with chambray fabric. I'll put in some uh, paints if I want color or markers or washi tape or colorful scissors. And then I also love to use greenery like um, rosemary or evergreen or even flowers, wildflowers if it's summer. Okay, so let's move all of these styling props out of the way. And for this piece, we're gonna start with a nice simple white. So just white Bristol board or paper. I'll place my um, art piece just where I want it. I love doing it on a little bit of an angle. I'm sure you guys have noticed that. I'll start with something strong like my black scissors. And then I think I'm gonna go for a fairly neutral theme here. So I'm gonna add in a little greenery right off the bat and I'll move that around and sort of um, get it in the right spot. I'm gonna put these pencils sort of coming into the shot from outside of it. So always be aware of what your frame is. It's great if you can set up the camera and you can see what's in your shot. If not, you could always uh, tape it off so you know what's in the shot and what's outside. I like to put a little string sort of flowing through the frame. Uh, that always looks nice um, as well. I love that little um, notebook that has the spirals and the lines. It just adds visual interest. If you're using your pen, you can take the, the lid off. That's one more way to, again, create some visual interest. And here I am just gonna cut these evergreen pieces down. Just the, that one looked a little too big. So just moving things around, trying to get it right, always going back into the camera. Okay, what does it look like now? What does the shot look like? Sometimes what it looks like in life just doesn't translate on camera. And you just wanna sort of take joy in the process of trying to get it to look nice. And it might take a while, but just think of it as playing around with it. And uh, here I'm just gonna finish this up by adding a few little paper clips. So I love using small things right at the end, like stamps or, um, or paper clips. It's just a nice finishing touch. So then once those are laid down, you can focus and take your photo. And I'm gonna leave you with a little time lapse of me preparing another shot for Instagram. So I have this little Valentine's card and I'm trying to keep it in a very square shot because I'm gonna be using it for social media. I've also got a theme for this shot and my theme is sort of a vintage ladies desk. And so I'm using things that um, I'm using props that belong in this theme like pens and scissors and stamps and envelopes and just anything that would be on a lady's desk. Okay, thanks so much for watching today, guys. You can check my social media to see these photos and I will see you next week with a new tutorial.